On behalf of the Director of the, for the Pentagon Force Protection Agency, Mr. Chris Bargery, and the Director for Washington Headquarters Services, Mrs. Regina Miners, we would like to acknowledge the Deputy Secretary of Defense, the Honorable Kathleen Hicks, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Charles Brown Jr. and Mrs. Brown, Acting Under Secretary of Defense for Personnel and Readiness, the Honorable Ashish Vazirani. Acting Under Secretary of Defense for Intelligence and Security, the Honorable Melancy Harris. The Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral Christopher Grady and Mrs. Grady. The Performance Improvement Officer and Director of Administration and Management, Ms. Jennifer Walsh. And our many other distinguished guests, thank you all for being here. We'd like to thank Pentagon Chaplain Major Mark McCorkle, National Anthem Singer Pentagon Police Sergeant Anthony Brecht, and our Piper Special Agent Michael McLean of the City of Alexandria Pipes and Drums, who was here on September 11th, 2001, supporting the evidence collection efforts and playing his bagpipes during breaks. On the morning of September 11th, 23 years ago, members of the Pentagon's Defense Protective Service, the Pentagon Building Management Office, and the heating and refrigeration plant responded within moments of the strike. Decorated for their actions that day with the Secretary of Defense's highest medal for bravery, the Medal for Valor, some of them are here today. Mr. Donald Behe, Mr. Timothy Breeden, Mr. David Brown, Mr. Abraham Diaz, Mr. Michael Gargano, and Mr. Fred Hodges. These heroes of 9-11 were joined by the brave men and women of the 43 first responder agencies, some of whom are represented here today. Arlington County Police Department Chief Andy Penn, Arlington County Fire and EMS Chief David Pavlitz, DC Fire and EMS Assistant Chiefs Michael McKnight and Gary Steen, De Lorenzo Health Clinic, Colonel Sa Sally Del Vecchio, Fairfax County Police Department Chief Kevin Davis, Joint Base Fort Myer Henderson Hall Arlington National Cemetery Chief of Police William Johnson, Joint Base Fort Myer Henderson Hall Department Deputy Fire Chief Jeffrey Taporzik. 9-11th Technical Rescue Engineer Company, Captain Lee Terry. Metropolitan Police Department, Chief of Police Pamela Smith. Metropolitan Washington Airport Authority, Fire and Rescue Department Assistant Fire Chief Ronald Dowdy. Montgomery County Fire and Rescue Fire Chief Corey Smedley and Assistant Chief Franz Pintieri. Pentagon Police Chief Woodrow Cousse. Prince William County Police Department, Major Kevin Huggert. U.S. Capitol Police, Assistant Chief of Police, Jason Bell. U.S. Park Police, Deputy Chiefs Scott Brecht and Jeffrey Schneider. Virginia State Police, First Sergeant Robert Alessi. These are the heroes of September 11, 2001. Thank you all for your service in 2001 and again for being here today. Ladies and gentlemen, please join Pentagon Chaplain Major Mark McCorkle for the invocation. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you for being with us. Today we pause to remember our heroes who gave their life in 2001 on this sacred reservation. That day at 0937 in the morning on flight 77, we lost 184 brave Americans and gave, gained new resolve to stand for freedom for the United States and a deeper love for our country. As we mourn their loss, we ask this day that you would provide a peace that surpasses all understanding that guards our heart. We thank you for the love that you have given us for each other, for our country. May we encourage those here 
with resolute purpose to continue to defend the United States of America without any mental reservation. We ask for your strength, power, and wisdom to serve and care for each other like never before, especially those here who lost family and friends and are still grieving with us as they remember what occurred here on this land 23 years ago. In your holy name we pray, amen. Thank you, Chaplain McCorkle. On September 12th, 2001, the national colors were unfurled for all to see. The original flag was donated by Army Major General Jim Jackson, then the Military District of Washington commander. He sent over to nearby Fort Myer for the largest flag they could find. Thus, the U.S. Army Band's garrison flag took its place in history. The flag that day comforted all who saw her and symbolically declared our nation's resolve. General Jackson and his wife Nancy Jackson are here today. Thank you both for joining us. Since that time, the national colors have been unfurled on the same spot each year at dawn on 9-11 to remind all who attend the memorial ceremonies, those who go into work that morning, Pentagon visitors and those who pass by on the highway, that this building remains solid, this department remains strong, and this nation remains resilient. Today's colors will be unfurled by members of Washington Headquarters Services Pentagon Building Management Office and Chief Warrant Officer 4, William Wilkins. Then Sergeant Wilkins, assigned to the Military District of Washington Signal Activity, was part of the original unfurling team. The unfurling will be led by Mr. David Brown from the Pentagon Building Management Office and Medal of Honor recipient, Medal of Valor recipient, pardon. We invite all to join Pentagon Police Sergeant Anthony Brecht in the singing of... Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the lip <clears throat> or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gate proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the
Thank you all for attending today's event. Please remain in place for the departure of the official party.